Hello Bergen family, Dan Koenig, principal at Archbishop Bergen Catholic School here. Happy spring break, and more importantly, hope you're having a very blessed St. Patrick's Day. I know that there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding what school will look like moving forward, so I wanted to reach out to you and have you hear it from me personally about how we at Archbishop Bergen Catholic School are going to come together to meet the needs of our students during this very challenging time. Please know that your students' safety and well-being are our top priority in our school system. And we appreciate everyone's patience and understanding during this unprecedented pandemic. Based on the joint press release that was communicated to you on Monday, March 16th, you need to plan and know that our schools will be closed indefinitely. All these decisions are made in conjunction with our other area educational partners and under the guidance of the Three Rivers Health Department. Keep in mind that Bergen Early Childhood Education Center will be open until we receive recommendations from Three Rivers to close the center. I have always viewed education as a three-legged stool. That stool consists of three distinct legs that support that stool equally to keep it in place. Those legs in our educational system represent number one, our students, number two, our staff, and the third leg, our parents. And we're gonna need each of these three legs of that stool to work together in the coming weeks in order for our educational system to continue to thrive. And I'm calling on our students, our staff, and our parents to all come together to be sure that our students are continuing to receive the quality education Archbishop Bergen Catholic School is known for. In order to meet those educational needs of our K-12 students, we as a staff met on Monday, March 16th to develop an alternative learning program for the K-12 students at Archbishop Bergen Catholic School. Please know that we would have liked to have had a parent meeting to discuss our plans with you and answer any of your questions, but the requirement of having meetings of 10 or less individuals does not allow for such a meeting to take place. Please know that any of the activities that we list below or any of the activities we talk about, we will make sure that we have a, only a certain number of individuals allowed in any of our facilities at one time. And we'll continue to practice keeping people away from each other, social distancing, and continuing to sanitize all of our surfaces throughout our facilities and our buildings. And please be patient if you do try to visit one of our buildings as there will most likely be a wait time to get you into the facility. In reference to our quarter three final grades, students will receive those quarter three grades after they've had a chance to finish all of their quarter three expectations. Teachers will make sure they continue to communicate those expectations for quarter three that was interrupted. And those expectations need to be completed by Friday, April 3rd. The quarter three Bergen assessment tools that we have put in place will be canceled and the Bergen assessment tools for quarter three will not be administered. Our students will have two opportunities to access the building in order to retrieve any of their personal items, uh, things from their lockers, textbooks, musical instruments, choir folders, wherever it may be. This will take place this coming Thursday, March 19th. That'll be our first opportunity. And it'll take place again Thursday, March 19th from 6 p.m to 8 p.m. Both Bergen Elementary and Bergen Middle School High School will be open this Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for students to pick up anything that they need from their lockers or any textbooks or any items. The second option will be available on Monday, March 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. again for students to pick up any things from their lockers or musical instruments, personal items, textbooks, etc. If a student needs additional opportunities to pick things up, that'll be available starting during our alternative learning plan hours, which will begin on Wednesday, March 25th. The buildings will be open for students to pick things up starting on Wednesday, March 25th once again, and that'll take place from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. Please know that our teachers and staff will use Monday, March 23rd, and Tuesday, March 24th, as work days in order to prepare all their materials for our alternative learning plan that we are putting in place. The first day of our alternative learning plan will take place again on Wednesday, March 25th. 
I'm going to share with you now our overview of the alternative learning plan for Archbishop Bergen Catholic School. Students in grades kindergarten, first, second, third, and fourth are K through four students. We'll have teachers putting together packets that will educate our students for a week at a time. Students and parents can come to Bergen Elementary to pick up these packets. They'll be completed at home and turned in weekly. We have a schedule for packet pickup starting on Wednesday, March 25th. And students and parents can pick up those packets on Wednesday, March 25th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. The packets will make sure that they educate students for that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Again, beginning on March 25th. The second packet pickup will take place on Monday, March 30th. And that can take place from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. That will then educate students for the week of the 30th. And again, we'll have another packet pickup on Monday, April 6th. And each Monday following, we'll have a packet pickup while school is closed indefinitely. When a student completes their packet, they just need to make sure they put their name on their packet, put their teacher's name on the packet, and bring it to the school and drop it off. When you drop off a packet, you could also attempt to pick up the next packet so that they can work on all that new material. Again, that is our plan for students in grades kindergarten through fourth. For students in grades five through 12, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and our seniors, we'll be operating using a digital learning program under the umbrella of our Google Classroom. Many of the students are already familiar with this type of programming as many of our teachers have students accessing the Google Classroom program during their traditional classroom teaching. Students will need to access a computer during this time, and they'll need to access internet during this time to complete our digital learning program. If a family does not have internet at home, we will have those opportunities daily from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. for students to come to the school to access our internet in order to get their work done. If a student does not have a digital device at home, we'll give you the opportunity to come to our school check out a Chromebook. If you have internet at home and just need the device, once again, you have the opportunity to come to our school and check out a device and work from home if you wish. Any device that is checked out from the school needs to be checked out through me, Mr. Dan Koenig. And please know you'll be required to sign a waiver saying that you're gonna take care of that device and claim responsibility for that device. Once again, we're just trying to take care of our, our grades five through 12 students. If they have any barriers to digital learning, whether that's internet access or devices, you need to see me and I'll make sure those barriers are removed for you. For the duration of our alternative learning plan, we will not be offering any transportation services for families. Families will be responsible for transportation to and from school to pick up materials and receive assistance from our teachers. And please, once again, contact Dan Koenig if you have any issues with transportation. In order to assist our students with their digital learning, or any type of learning during this time period, please know that our staff will be on site at both Bergen Elementary and Bergen Middle School and High School. The students can work with any of our staff members to receive assistance and should not consider only meeting with their assigned teachers. Any of the staff members at Archbishop Bergen Catholic School will be glad and willing to help your students with any difficulties, questions, or assistance they need. We will have a schedule for elementary teachers that once again we will post and those teachers will be available in the classroom to assist students with their packets or questions about their classroom expectations. There will be a morning session that takes place daily from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And half of our elementary teachers will be, ab be available during that time period. We'll have an afternoon session as well. And that afternoon session will take place from noon to three daily. And half of our elementary teachers will be available during that afternoon session. So again, we have an 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. session and a noon to 3 p.m. session that will take place daily in which half of our students, or excuse me, half of our staff will be available to help our students. Specialist teachers will be available on a very unique schedule. They'll most likely be within one of those time frames, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. or noon to 3 as well. Our middle school, high school teachers will be available for any of our, our kids in grades 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 daily from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. 
So please know if you have any questions or need assistance with your digital learning, you can access Bergen Middle School High School from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. daily. And that will begin on Wednesday, March 25th. Our staff, once again, will be available at the elementary and the middle school high school starting on Wednesday, March 25th, when we begin our alternative learning plan. Once again, please realize we'll limit the number of individuals that are able to access the building in order to keep people safe. Please know students that dress code is not in place. We do not have a dress code in place during our alternative learning plan. And it's not a requirement you wear a uniform when you visit the school during these time periods. Please know also that all K through 12 students are required to complete the activities and expectations that we put together in our alternative learning plan. Whether that's packets or that's, that's digital learning, our students are expected to complete those things. If there are obstacles for students that cause difficulties in completing the expectations we laid forth, please contact me, Mr. Dan Koenig, about that. If the student does not meet the academic expectations that we create through our alternative learning program during this time period, they'll be required to complete it upon their return. Students will work through the alternative learning program curriculum until they have finished it and all requirements have been made. And if this pushes students into the summer, we'll make that happen for them as well. So once again, if a student doesn't meet the expectations of the alternative learning plan, they may have their school year extended into the summer and have to work with me personally to complete those. We've developed some additional rules for individuals visiting Bergen Elementary or Bergen Middle School High School during this time period. Please know that there will be a maximum number of people allowed in the building at one time. That may cause a wait for you when you come to visit the building. Please, we're asking for your patience. The secretary at each of the buildings will monitor each person entering the building and you may be asked to sign in at that main office upon your arrival and sign out when you leave as well. We ask you keep the classroom visits to a maximum of 30 minutes when students are receiving assistance from teachers. Parents of our elementary students are asked to stay at the school until their student is finished receiving assistance or finished picking up their materials. Please do not drop your students off at the school and leave them there as they will not be supervised during that time. Once again, please don't drop your students off at the school and take off. Please stay with them. Parents and guardians, you do have the opportunity to come in with your student and go into the classroom and find out what they're working on or, or have any of your questions answered by our teachers. Once again, this may be a great opportunity for you to learn what your student's learning about. This will also give you an opportunity to ask any questions of that teacher or find out exactly how a teacher is teaching a certain skill or a, a certain subject area. For our middle school, high school students, if you do not drive to school yourself, then we ask that your ride stays with you at the school. Once again, we ask you don't simply just drop off students and leave them there. We ask that the ride stay there for everyone's safety. Once again, we're asking for your patience during this very difficult time period. Please know that we're going to, going to make decisions based on what is best for our students. And we're gonna to try to continue to provide the best education for we, can, we can for our students as possible during this difficult time period. We ask for your patience. We ask for your prayers. We also ask that you support us being that part of that stool, working together with our students, our parents, and our staff, all together supporting our students to make sure they're, they're getting the best education possible. If you have issues during this time period and you need to talk to somebody about your questions or your concerns, please contact any of our staff members. Our staff can be reached by phone but as well as on the internet through bergenknights.org. Please visit www.bergenknights.org and click on the staff link. The staff directory will show you a picture of the classroom teacher. And there you can also find the teacher's email. Every one of our staff members at Archbishop Bergen Catholic School have an email that is laid out as, as, as so. First name, period, last name at bergenknights.org. So, I am Dan period, Koenig at bergenknights.org. Please email us at any time. You can also call the school. The elementary school number is 
721-9766. Bergen Middle School High School is 402-721-9683. Once again, if you have any transportation issues, you have internet issues, you have device issues, or you have issues getting into the school to pick up your packets, please contact me at any time. I'll be watching my email, making sure that we're supporting our students. I'll be checking my messages, making sure that I'm answering any of your questions. And we're gonna do everything we can to make sure that we are helping you support your students and they're receiving a quality education during this difficult time. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your support. We appreciate you as a family. Continue to say prayers for us at Archbishop Bergen Catholic School, and we'll all work together over these weeks to keep our kids supporting and learning. And we'll do everything we can to make sure that your, your student follows through and receives all the support they need. Archbishop Bergen Catholic School exists to instill a passion as exemplified by Christ for faith, knowledge, and service. We'll do everything we can to make sure that our mission is uphold during this time period. May God bless you. May God bless your family. And may God bless Archbishop Bergen Catholic School. Thank you.